Dr. Colbert graduated from the ORU School of Medicine in 1984. He's been practicing medicine in Central Florida for some 25 years, having seen over 40,000 patients. And we're delighted that he's here. He's written many books, uh, some that are bestsellers. And please join Joni as we welcome back from Central Florida, Dr. Don and Mary Colbert. Dr. Colbert, bless you. Thank you. Mary, God bless you. It's so good to see you. Dr. Don Colbert helps patients treat the root causes of illnesses through medical, nutritional, and spiritual care. He's passionate about sharing biblical principles for health through his best-selling books, television appearances, and speaking engagements. Dr. Colbert's treated more than 40,000 patients in 20 years and continues to help equip individuals with healthy lifestyle changes. We don't even have to catch the flu. We don't have to catch a virus. We don't have to catch a cold because once you understand these principles and walk in these principles, our immune system is so strong that we're resistant to disease. The church is stewing in their own stress juices. They are handling stress the same way as the world. And God says, no, I have given you the answer to stress. You are to be the light of the world, the salt of the earth. You're not to stew in your own stress juices. You're not to suffer with the same diseases as the world. When the world looks at you, you should be a light. You should be a beacon of health. You have the living food. Anything that man's finger has touched, and altered and changed, preserved in any way from its original state is what we call become dead food. Yeah. And when people begin to consume more living food, because we're living beings, so life produces life. And if you're taking in more dead foods, well, it only makes sense that eventually death will produce death. There's men with a 48 inch waist that still gets fits in their 32 inch pants. Ah! So, so then we, we measure it around. Your waistline is your lifeline. For men, if your waist is greater than 40 inches, your risk of diabetes is great. You are responsible for your health. You see, we have an epidemic of cancer, of heart disease, of high blood pressure, of obesity, of high cholesterol, and type 2 diabetes, an epidemic. And so what I found in treating over 30,000 patients is that there's seven key principles that if we simply will institute and practice and exercise in our life, we will prevent most of these diseases. I cannot tell you how many people with diseases, heart disease, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, arthritis have been totally reversed by simply following these seven sound biblical principles. This is the foundation, just like the foundation of a house. We can't build the walls or the roof or the ceiling or the fine wood and trim until we lay this foundation. And exercise is a foundational principle we have to institute in our lives.